Welcome to another DCS tutorial for the Harrier and today we're going to be looking at non-sequential waypoints. As you probably know when you set up waypoints in editor and come into the cockpit you cycle through those waypoints in order. So waypoints 1, 2, 3 and so on and we can go through those forwards or backwards sequentially. Sometimes though that might not be what you want and here for example where point two is an air to air refueling zone as indicated by the blue circle and where point seven is our alternate field. So those two where points aren't going to be part of our normal route. A non-sequential route will let us skip those two where points or indeed order them in any way we see fit. To set up the non-sequential route, we need to press data, which is OSB2, and then NSEC, which is OSB11. Now we have three options, ingress, egress, and terminal. So we'll program the ingress first, and then program and we can select from waypoints, mark points or target points. Now here we only have waypoints set, so we'll go waypoint 1, enter, we don't want 2, so 3, enter, 4, enter, and our target is at waypoint 5. And then we'll program our egress, so that's waypoint 6, enter, we don't want seven, so we're point eight, and then enter. The third option is terminal, and that's no longer functional, but that would let you define a waypoint as your target. And so normally when you hit designate, the current selected waypoint is designated, but with term, the waypoint that you define should be the one that gets designated irrespective of your current waypoint. But as I said, that's no longer working. We can then come out of data by pressing OSB2 and the route's now been created but not activated. To activate, press root which is OSB10 and then NSEC on the ODU. Pressing SEC returns to sequential and RSEC is not implemented in the real aircraft. We can now see that the ingress route is shown as a solid purple line and the egress route is shown as a dotted line. And if we now cycle through the waypoints, we go waypoints 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and back to 1. So we've skipped out waypoints 2 and 7 as we planned. That wraps up this quick tutorial, so please do hit like and subscribe. But for now, I'm finalising my plans for a revolution in tactical air power. A mobile FARB. Now I know what you're thinking, why did nobody think of this sooner? It's such a brilliant idea. All the benefits of a FARB, but without being tied to a single field. It's pure genius. But the patent's already in. See so you all too late.